As much as I love Bangkok, there are times where it becomes claustrophobic, too intense, and you need to just get out and reconnect with nature and get new inspirations. And luckily, Phuket is only an hour flight, and I was desperate to come back down here to rediscover new areas of the island. But strangely, <laughs> one of my videos about Phuket when I was here with Dreamy was about this southern area of the island, down by the Cape, down by Rawai, and I said that this was my favorite part of not only Phuket, but one of my favorite parts of southern Thailand. And one of my subscribers and followers actually on Instagram, they acquired this beach house, which you can see behind me. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's right down here amongst Rawai and the Cape. It's literally in between the very southern tip of Phuket, the Cape, which is one of my favorite spots. And a quick sneak peek, look. <laughs> yeah, this area of Phuket is just incredible. And I'm really grateful to be able to come back down here and to share it with you all. I'll show you around the area of Rawai and we'll experience some new things and new places that I haven't shared before. And I'll try my best to explain why I think this area of the island is the perfect place to escape if you are coming from Bangkok or if you just want a quieter experience in one of Thailand's most popular locations. Let's begin with a quick tour of this incredible beach house which is available to rent right now. I'll give a link in the description so you can check out. They do discounts for longer stays. If you wanna stay for a week or a month, they have discounts up to 15%. This is the living room space. Nice furniture, very clean, very modern. Very white, very clean design, very minimal. You've got one big bedroom in here and then through here you've got a twin. So you could have the kids in here or something. And then the master's really nice. Again, nice big soft mattress, lovely and gorgeous view out to the garden, which I just kind of gave you a sneak peek about. There's a huge kitchen. You've got your microwave, there's a gas stove. So you could set base up here and do all your cooking for entertainment purposes, or maybe you wanna, you know, take a week, take a month to write a book or to just get away from things. You could go to the supermarket, bring everything here. There's a big fridge and wardrobes and plates, everything. You know, this is an Airbnb, right? So it's got everything you can need to live here. Outside here, they've got a nice little hangout area, a breakfast bar, just somewhere nice to just hang out outside. And then the garden, and they've got a private pool. I don't know what the name of this plant is, but I see it all over Thailand. I'm gonna call it the fan palm, the two main highlights to staying here, other than the incredible location in the southern tip of the island is this little wooden gazebo type thing. There's a gorgeous breeze coming through. Great place to sit, chill, put your feet up like I've been doing all day. Play some tunes on your speaker or do some work or just do nothing. I mean, just take a look at that. I mean, that's Maldives level. <laughs> Absolutely crystal clear, turquoise waters, white sand. Now, it's not a private beach, okay, but I'm not gonna tell you the name of the beach because this is probably a, a locals area. Not many people are coming down here. I've been here a few hours already this morning and you know, when I arrived at the airport, the people who run this beach house organized a pickup for me, which was really nice. We drove down here in the taxi. They've also given me uh, a motorcycle through the rental company nearby in Rawai. So I've got a ride, I got an airport transfer, but I just get the feeling that there's a couple of houses along this beach and I feel like I don't want to be one of those travel influencer type people who tags this location and ruins it for the locals. Obviously, you'll be able to find where this place is if you do a little bit of digging.
thankfully, this little beach that's hidden away out of sight, it's actually not that far away from all of the attractions in this area. In fact, just a two minute ride away, we arrive at the Cape. This area of the island has now become very popular with tourists and this once pristine and quieter sunset spot has certainly been discovered by the masses, but that's okay because it's still a really beautiful place to be. I drove around and explored some of my favourite beaches and I'll show you some more of them later but I popped into my favourite beach bar because they always have this fantastic happy hour and I just relaxed, had a cheeky mojito and waited for the sun to come down and put on a show. With the first day at the beach house being very relaxing, I wanted to wake up early and watch the sunrise so I could take the opportunity to soak up this hidden beach all by myself and watch the sunrise in complete peace. Although, as you'll see in a second, I wasn't exactly all alone. If this isn't the perfect start to a morning, I don't know what is. Playing with a pack of dogs. The good thing about being in this location down by Rawai this is a ton, a ton of great restaurants. Last night I went to my favorite Mexican place called Unis and I had a feast, like six different types of tacos, a couple of margaritas. And then I came back to the house and just relaxed and watched a movie in a really comfortable bed. Today, again, because I'm in this area, loads of cafes, loads of places to get nice brunch. and a coffee, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna relax a little bit this morning, enjoy this beach, enjoy the sunrise. There are three really beautiful beaches that we looked at yesterday, um, but the crowds were insane. Obviously, it's the school holidays at the moment in Thailand. So a lot of Thai people are here, a lot of foreigners are here, a lot of tourists are here just as usual. Um, but the afternoons tends to be the most busiest time. So I think if we go to my three favorite beaches, although this isn't my new favorite beach. Um, it, early in the morning, we'll be able to kind of enjoy them when they're nice and quiet and get a bit of brunch. Okay, this is the first beach that I come across on my commute. <laughs> to breakfast. This is Yanoi Beach and it's this butterfly shaped beach kind of uh, gets split, it kind of gets cut in half by this gorgeous outcropping of rocks which you can clamber over and it gives you a nice perspective of the whole Cape area. It really is the most unique part of Phuket geographically. I feel like given the name Cape it does look like South Africa or a tropical Scotland, if that makes any sense to you. You know, it's not so much tropical, it's, there's not many palm trees and things, um, and the vegetation is just very different down at the bottom of Phuket, and it's very, very unique, and I, that's why I think I absolutely love it, because it's totally different to any other part of South Thailand. It gives me a cozy vibe. <laughs> anyway, on to the next beach, and then we'll uh, slowly, but surely, make our way to a yummy breakfast. So I'm out.
Okie dokie, just around the bend, just around the corner is the main beach and the most beautiful beach in this area which is Nai Han and I've stayed here actually in the distance there's this white hotel on the slope I've stayed there with Miss P and that is absolutely fantastic and at different times of the year this beach actually has surf so on the off season when the wind is coming this way none of these beautiful yachts can moor out there they are all on the other side of the island in the marina and this side of the coast gets hit by swells and storms but it does create a really nice break over in the corner and I just remember loving this beach and during Covid when I was here even in the hottest part of the day and in the afternoons there was hardly anyone here it was incredible and then I was a bit shocked yesterday to see it packed but the reason why is it's the biggest stretch of beach it's got the most amount of parking and it's got the most amount of stuff going on around it there's lots of water sports here and what's nice is if you come for a nice walk in the morning I saw a lot of people going up the hill and around the corner for their morning walk or their morning run but here on the beach there seems to be a boot camp and lots of activity lots of people working out there's an outdoor gym you've got surfing you've got kayaking you've got paddle boards obviously behind me this is where you come when you want to relax this is where you come where you want to work out especially in the morning just comes with a little sprinkle of more people obviously here he is Paddy Doyle in the house Maybell's coffee garden <laughs> Best coffee and food. Have you had a coffee? I've had a coffee, it was lovely, thank you. Second coffee of the day, so I'm shaking already. How was your breakfast? Great, thank you. Really nice. Bit Good. of smoked salmon, Good. avocado, poached eggs, happy days. Things have changed since I was here last. When I finished the provinces with Dreamy, we had a big party here. We yeah, had yeah. dancers, music, oh, barbecue, it was great. Yeah. But ever since then, the business has grown and yep. your family has grown. Congratulations. Yeah. Now three of us. Little Macy is here, two months old. Congratulations. Beautiful little Macy. Yeah, what else is new? Oh, you got an Airbnb? We've got an Airbnb. We've got two actually. Well, the, ne the second one's coming soon. Very soon, next month. So, coffee shop's booming, two Airbnbs, a new bigger, baby. Look, look, well, it looks bigger, but it's... Are you still doing the motorcycle thing? No, no. Was no. that a bit of a headache? Yeah. What's yeah. that beach down there? We're near Katanoi or Kata Beach? Kata Beach. Kata well, Beach. Both Kata, Katanoi, and Karan. That's it. All so if you are if you're on this area, it's only 10, 15 minutes away from where I'm staying. Mm. Great breakfast, great coffee, and you're right under the shadow of the big Buddha. Yeah. Nice breeze, breeze coming through here. Lots and of flowers. Uh, well. Breakfast comes recommended for sure. And the delicious Thanks coffee. Thanks for coming. Thanks no, it's for good coming. to see you again, man. Thank you. Good to see you. You're looking well. And you. Yeah, it was nice to pop in and see an old friend, and it was great to see him doing so well. I did actually have to run a few errands here in Phuket, a quick pop to the mall in Patong to pick up an SD card, and a quick drive along Patong Beach to see all of the madness and the complete contrast of this side of Phuket. Actually, this area is just so busy now, I don't think I can recommend it much these days, especially if you're looking to relax and recharge like I was doing. Instead, I quickly left, drove back to the beach house, and it was actually really hard to leave, if I'm honest. My normal, adventurous and curious self was somewhat sedated here. <laughs> this beach house, the location, it just sent me into a deep relaxation. I barely filmed anything, if I'm honest. The cool breeze walks on the beach, beers at sunset in the garden overlooking the ocean. These activities were just so much more relaxing, much more my vibe, that I just didn't do very much. And that's kind of what I wanted to do in the first place. I did check out the Rawai Boxing Stadium one evening, however, and that was a complete blast. I really recommend it. Tickets are a bit expensive. Just get the cheapest option because it's small. You'll make a ton of friends. You'll see a ton of great fights. Sink a few cold beers in the sweaty stands of the arena. Really recommend Rawai Boxing. And all in all, I think I found my spot in Southern Phuket. And I think I found my place of rest and relaxation. If you need something similar, then check out the description and find out the ways to book the beach house. Phuket gets a bad reputation sometimes 
And to be fair, there's areas of the island that are less desirable, but this little corner of the island is just perfection and I'm happy to share it with you all. Coming up in the next one, I actually leave Phuket and I head to an island that I've never been to before. It's an island I've heard nothing but great things of and it's a place I intend to tick off my ultimate Thai bucket list with you. So if you want to watch that one, click right here or tune in next week. <laughs>